keep things on you. Hello, welcome everybody to WWTA News. Thank you for joining us again. Welcome back. Look, we've got some information to get into. But before we do, could I get you to hit that like button if you have not already done so? Also, if you have any family, friends, or loved ones who you think could use any of this information, please feel free to send them the link to this video so they too can join in. Now, with all that, let's get this party started. All right, we got an article here we're going to go over. It says, the Brazilian fintech PicPay to launch crypto exchange Real Tide Stablecoin. Brazil, a real tied stable coin. All right, let's see what they got to say about this. It says PicPay, a Brazil-based digital payments app, plans to launch a crypto exchange and a Brazilian real tied real tied stable coin in 2022. Of course, that's where we're at. The company announced this Monday. The exchange will provide access to Bitcoin. Ether and Paxos, the USDP stablecoin, the company said in a statement, adding that the development of its stablecoin will allow users to pay, transfer, and store that cryptocurrency as early as the year 2022. Again, we're in that year. So, wow, Brazil. Okay. It also says PicPay will enter the crypto market to lead its popularization, not only as an investment, but also as a way to decentralize payments and other financial services. Anderson Shaman, vice president of technology and products at PicPay, said in a statement. The company was founded in 2012 as a digital wallet, but later mutated into a payments app offering a financial marketplace, among other services. The platform has more than 65 million users, of which 30 million are active. So, <laughs> wow, let's just absorb all that. All right. So, look, obviously, all the quote unquote nations and countries are coming under the fold. I know we've been hearing about central bank digital currencies and how that's great for central banks. Doesn't really uh, work well for economies as a whole. Um, as stable coins do, they would work better once they figure out a way to uh, peg it to an actual currency. Now, you have Africa doing that um, as well as some other nations. So when we're looking at this here, we're clearly seeing that this is actually happening okay there are currencies that exist for use they're use case currencies and then those use case currencies you can always convert them to a stable coin so then you can pull out and use directly uh for purchasing and everything else right at stores that only accept for instance for instance a stable coin you know what i'm saying so that's that we had this conversation before uh in a past video uh, if you've been keeping up with the channel, you were there for that discussion, you know, saying, got it out, got it out. But for this sake right here, they already have users. OK, so let the big story be the users using the technology, because while we're looking at the market being in the red and everybody's scared of it, this is the new system. It is going nowhere. Listen to me one more time. This is the new system. It is not going anywhere. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is the facts written clearly on the walls in front of us. OK, we've been through this stuff. Africa, um, Europe, here in the States, um, um, Central, quote unquote, Central America. These, there's nothing new about these stories. It's just more and more people coming, coming in and getting on board. So here we're just looking at Brazil doing the same thing. Awesome news. Awesome news. If you're excited about that, post that in the comments below. Because look, I hope everybody's taking advantage of the situation we're in now with the markets being as ugly as they are. Okay. I hope you're taking advantage. All right. But let's continue. We got another article. It says Texas Bitcoin miners power down as heat wave threatens the grid with rolling blackouts. You know, Texas had problems already, right? This article says nearly all industrial level Bitcoin miners in Texas have fulfilled their promise to suspend operations while the state waits out a heat wave that's expected to push its electricity grid to its limits. We know Texas had problems with electricity. They had a problem with the storm, the winter storm. You know, people were just, you know, it's nothing new. But 
when it comes to crypto, like, <laughs> right, Bitcoin miners, right? And if y'all are in Texas, why aren't y'all using solar power to power your Bitcoin miners? Why aren't you juicing up batteries and getting your current from there? You know what I'm saying? Like, you should have some solar farms out there getting it done. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know, just my thoughts about that. You know, it is what it is. But um, yeah, that's going to cause issues if those miners aren't running and they're having rolling blackouts. So there should be some possible slows uh, with the network from that. So no shocker if we hear about, oh, Bitcoin uh, uh, transactions have slowed down a bit. Don't let it be a shocker because clearly here we can see that that's where the issues would come from. All right. We got another article that says first regulated British pound stable coin has launched. Now, look, we just got done reading about Brazil. We've already read about Africa. Now, here we are with the British pound stable coin being launched. Let's see what they got to say. It says the pound token, the first fully regulated, fully collateralized stable coin pegged to the great British pound is now being offered by a company located in the Isle of Man. So, yes. They're backing a stable coin with the British pound. Today, crypto company Black Fridge launched a British regulated stable coin called the pound token. The stable coin, which bears the ticker GBPT, is 100% backed by reserves in pounds sterling. It is the first regulated British pound stable coin ever issued. So here again, what are we seeing? This is the new system. I don't know if I should even keep saying that. The new system's here. Um, yes, there will be stability. That's why they're doing these stable coins. But do not get it confused. The other cryptocurrencies have a use case. They're being used for uses. So know the use of the cryptocurrency that you're involved in and then continue to do what you got to do. Stable coins are basically for people that only want to deal in stability. OK, if you got a store that doesn't want to deal in anything but what's factual and stable, that's what they'll deal in. That doesn't mean that all stores are going to operate like that. That doesn't mean like, for instance, if if bro, if, if we're going to trade off or exchange on something and you got some Dogecoin and, and I can get the equivalent of what I want from your Dogecoin for that, that that thing that you want. You know what I'm saying? It's like, boom, we'll make the exchange. I'll collect the Dogecoin. You see what I'm saying? So that's still business taking place. So don't get it confused and think, oh, people aren't going to accept cryptocurrencies when they got stable coins. That's crazy. Don't think like that. You need all these other things to exist. I'm not a financial advisor. This isn't financial advice. But do not be confused. They have to exist. Now, I can then take that Dogecoin if I so choose and turn it into a stable coin and then tuck it away. All right. That's just how that works. So don't you know, it is what it is. I hope you all understand it. It's simple to understand. It's simple. If it's not simple to understand. Start posting your thoughts in the comments section below so maybe we can pick it apart and get a better understanding to help help everyone understand and, and get a better idea of this. To continue, it says stable coins are cryptocurrency that aim at retaining parity with a government issued currency. In most cases, the U.S. dollar, uh, some stable coin issuers like MakerDAO are decentralized protocols hosted on a blockchain. Others, such as Circle, are centralized companies. Black Fridge falls under the latter category. GBPT was launched on Ethereum, but is expected to expand to multiple blockchains. Pound token can currently be traded on Uniswap, Gate.io, and Bittrex Global, the, though the company assures more platforms will soon be offered. So they're, they're about to make some moves. And don't get it twisted. I'm going to tell you right now. More uh, more blockchains, more exchanges, uh, uh, you're going to start seeing this tech there. It's already backed by something. So you're going to see it. It's going to be booming. And it's not the only one you're going to see. You're going to see the Songo coin as well. You're going to see all these things. And if you use the Lobster app for XLM, uh, you'll see that these things are already there and are, are in use. So it's, it's not a shocker. And maybe I'll talk about that app in another video. Or maybe I'll do a video where I talk about apps for cryptocurrency so you all can have some things to look at and possibly start using but it other than that that's what i got for you guys in the news uh, i just want to share that stuff and i want to get you all talking about it if you enjoyed the video hit that like button if you got any comments please post them down below let's get the conversation started i hope you enjoyed and i will catch you all in our next episode